Hey YouTube, Sean with Griffin RC Planes. In this episode of the Uproar version 2 ARF build, we're going to take a servo like this, install it into a blank wing like this, and end up with this. I'll probably break this video up into a couple different sections just because of the size. So please take a look at all of them. Hopefully it'll help somebody out or give you a little entertainment. If you want to win this jet, all the information is about five or six videos back. So click subscribe so you can go back and take a look at it and be entered to win. All right there, guys and gals. In this episode, we're going to mount a servo in the wing. In the previous episode, we had made an adapter plate to adapt the servo to the hole that's provided for the uproar version 2 the the hole that is already cut out or not cut out that that is made into the wing it's covered with the film and you just cut out the slot that hole is bigger than the servo we chose to use so this servo would not go in there there would not be enough meat on each side to screw the servo to so we made a plate out of wood that the servo will fit into and then we'll mount this entire plate to the wing somebody made a comment saying that we made this out of what I called plywood and they said it wasn't plywood I guess it's not plywood it is a piece of wood that's pliable <laughs> but it says um, basswood strip I think it was but plywood Bob's wood Steve's wood my wood airplane wood it's uh we made this adapter plate out of wood all right so get that over there first thing I'm going to do is kind of center this over that hole get an idea and then we'll mount the servo in this adapter plate we made and then we'll mount this adapter plate to the wing. After we get it all installed and screwed in, then we'll kind of take a look at our shape here and maybe uh, we'll round these corners off a little bit or you know, we might dress it up a little bit. Also, after we made this plate, I uh, mixed up a batch of two-part epoxy and brushed it over it just like paint. And that just, it stiffened it up and made it a whole lot stronger. This is the piece we broke in the previous episode. The way I was cutting these was with a, a razor blade, just kind of scoring it back and forth. And going with the grain, it just snapped. So we reinforced it with some two-part epoxy. Seems to be doing a good job as of right now. So here's the tools we need. Let's go over that. <clears throat> so I've got my glue holder, AKA old lunch meat, uh, bowl cut some little holes out where I can drop it in and I keep these in my uh, refrigerator where I keep my lipo batteries also it's an old uh, micro fridge got a pair of needle nose a pair of little side cutters a pair of pliers a box cutter a exacto knife just a screwdriver another screwdriver it's a Phillips and a flathead on the other side small Got a servo driver tester so we can center our servo. Got a battery to power that. This is a small little hand drill that some people call it a pin vise. Um, it's just a little drill. You put the drill bits in it and then you'll just kind of twist it with your fingers to drill the hole. Got a marker to make some marks. We have our servo. And then here is the hardware that came with the kit. We have the push rod that goes between the, the servo and the, uh, the, the servo horn. And this is a clevis that will go on the push rod and then another type clevis to go on the other end. That rod was backwards. Got a couple of rubber grommets and some brass eyelets that will go in the servo to help mount it. 
Uh, the kit came with two screws to mount this on the aileron. And then I got a couple more screws to mount the uh, servo to the wood. So I'm going to get things straightened up here and we'll do step one. All right, guys. So the first thing here is these servos weren't intended to, to be mounted with uh, just a screw going through. These were probably uh, glued into a plane. So these are rubber grommet servo adapters. And you take the rubber grommet and you push it over the, the side here where the hole is. And then you take one of these little brass, uh, I don't know, uh, it's not a bushing, an insert of some sort. Then you run the screw through that. In order to get this little gr rubber grommet to work, you need to cut open a little bit of this area here. There is a slot. You can see that I can fit this little blade through it. But it's not big enough to get this grommet into it. So, got a little pair of side cutters, and I'm just gently dissecting just a little, little piece out of it. Probably 16th of an inch or so. And then, this rubber will go in, in there, and then we can get our little brass insert in. About like so, let's try that. We might have to go a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to go a little bit more. And I can get this to push in there. Kind of got to manipulate it in there. Might take you a try or two. And don't be afraid to cut the the uh, rubber if you need to. These weren't exactly designed for this particular servo. And this is just my preference. If if you are buying servos for your plane, you know, brand new, it'll come with all this all the necessary hardware to mount it. I'll trim a little bit of that rubber up right there, just to get it to go in a little bit more. And I'm going to do the same on the back side. And once you get it in there, we might have to trim it a little again. This brass eyelet, um, whatever we want to call it, it should go down in the hole over it. pliers here. Alright, so the, the brass eyelet went through the rubber and through the hole there. Like that. But the rubber was in there. I'm going to do the other one real quick. Alright, both rubber grommets are in. Both eyelets are in. Now we'll test fit our servo into our little adapter plate here. So now the adapter plate goes or the servo goes into the plate like that. The rubber grommets will lay to tighten the screws down and it'll help with the vibrations. And then I might have to get rid of that little bread tie but just to just to see what it looks like here. going to go something about like that. And we've got so much movement here that we can just mount this, the servo. We'll go ahead and fix it right to the adapter plate. And then we'll do all our centering by mounting the, uh, the adapter plate to the um, wing. <clears throat> so I got the, the pin vise out and I got a drill bit. Oh, about half the width of the screws. That way we'll drill a hole and then the screw will uh, 
have stuff to bite to. And we're also going to harden the the, uh, the holes up with some glue. So our adapter plate is rather a snug fit. There's a little bit of movement. Try to center the servo in there so you're so when you drill a hole to you know screw it down, it'll go through wood and not uh, be sideways. And then I'm just gonna try to make a mark with this bit. Just a little bit, whatever I can do here to know where it goes. All right, so here's a good example of, of make, making sure it's centered. It's right there, which is pretty close to the edge. So I'm gonna drill a hole just a little bit outside of it. If the screw is on a angle just a little bit that that's okay so here's our mark we made like that it doesn't take much once you get this bit biting in and then i'm just pushing down and twisting it and you can use both hands if you want you can use a power drill and do whatever you want There it is, it made it through. So we'll just kind of go through it and clean it up. And just like so. You want to be really careful right now. You can split the wood pretty easily. But we'll try to screw a little bit and then we'll, when we get the other one, we'll drop a little CA wood or CA glue in the wood to harden it up. So I'm going to go. Pretty gentle right now. If we hear any cracking or something, we're going to stop. Slowly working it back and forth. I don't hear anything. Just, but it hasn't made it all the way through yet either. All right, so that one's going to be good. I'm going to drill the other one. Before drilling the other one, I decided to go ahead and start one screw with the servo in it. And then I can look and see exactly what we're working with here. And you can see, even though I went to the outside of it, it's still the servo still not centered. Well, it's in that rubber. So we can kind of split the difference a little bit. It'll be a little... Um, Oh, I, I guess the the rubber gives it a little sponginess. You know, you got room to work with. So I can kind of see where our next one's going to go. And I'm going to make a mark. I, I can see it right there. All right, I know where to drill. Okay, guys and gals, this is the end of section one. Section two is coming up next. Also, all the components for this plane that... Uh, were required if you were going to run a glow engine i'm not using i put them on ebay for a couple bucks nobody's bought them yet so they can be yours there's a few other components that went with that you just have to see it on the ebay listing all right stay tuned for the uh part two okay until next time you'll see me here in a minute